Hi, Craig with Horror Junkies of Utah here, and today I got Marcus with me. Hello, Marcus here. Uh, today we're going to take some time and uh, talk about some new and upcoming horror movies for the rest of the 2015 season. What do we got, Craig? What's coming up? So, probably the, the uh, biggest one that everyone's most uh, pumped out about, and probably the most popular one, is uh, The Green Inferno. Ah, Eli Ross' little take on the cannibal film genre. Kind of like yeah. the cal cannibal Furox, uh, cannibal holocaust type yeah, films. Yeah, it's kind of like a reboot of those, like taking everything from those and making it into his own little thing. Now, I've heard that it's supposed to be really intense. I've seen some audience reactions from pre-screenings yeah. that they've done. I wonder if he'll really make it as intense as some of these older cannibal films. Or there's going to be a lot of goofy comedy like he has in uh, some of his movies. So uh, we'll see. I, I think he's going more serious on this one. We're going to have to see, though. But I, I don't. I doubt that it will be as gory and uh, controversial as some of the other ones, especially since it's going into theaters. And I don't think Cannibal Ferox or Cannibal Holocaust ever set a foot in the theater, did they? Oh, yeah, they had a hard enough time getting them released, in uh, countries, let alone right? even in theaters. So, so uh, don't quote me on that, but I don't think they ever did. So we'll see. Um, it's a different world nowadays, but yeah, definitely we're excited about that one, Green Inferno from Eli Roth. What's up next on our list? Oh, uh, next one is uh, personally the one I'm most excited about. Uh, it's called Cooties. Cooties. You recently showed me the trailer for this. It looks like a bunch of little kids running around like zombies. Yeah, it's uh, it's an elementary. It takes place in elementary school, and uh, one of the kids she gets infected with a gnarly chicken nugget from uh, the cafeteria, and she turns into a zombie and infects all her classmates and. Uh, Main characters are all the teachers trying to uh, survive. Looks, it's a more of a horror comedy, and it looks freaking hilarious. Now, who is one of the actors in this film? That uh, gonna... You got Elijah Wood, obviously knows most known for playing good old Frodo Baggins. Uh, we also have uh, I'm really excited for uh, Rain Wilson. He's in it. He's uh, he plays the goofy guy from The Office, Dwight. He's he's hilarious. He's playing the gym teacher, actually. It just looks like a lot of fun. I can't wait. Now, you know, the funny thing about Elijah Wood is a lot of people just, uh, they see him and it's like Lord of the Rings. That's all it goes to, you know. But no, I mean, he's been in some other horror movies and he's actually a pretty big horror movie fan. So, yeah, he's a, he's a cool guy. Yeah, he played in Maniac, did a really good job on that. So, that's another one to look forward to. All right, uh, you know, I think we definitely got to talk about Goosebumps movie, man. <laughs> we do. I mean, we all grew up on those uh, <laughs> books. Definitely in elementary school, they scared us all, I think. Oh, yeah. So now they're making it a live-action movie. Based on it. Yeah, Jack Black is in it. He's actually playing R.L. Stein. Uh, from what I know, it's just about uh, all of uh, R.L. Stein's monsters from the Goosebumps uh, stories. They uh, get unleashed and uh, wreak havoc and chaos amongst a small town. You know, I usually stay away from films when I see Jack Black's name appear in them. I'm yeah. not a big fan, but I think I'm going to have to see this. Just for the nostalgic alone. Nostalgic yes, definitely. Alone. It'll be interesting to see all these characters. Should be out by screen. Halloween or so. Okay. I can't wait. All right, next, um, there's going to be another paranormal activity. I know what you guys are thinking. Those are so overdone. But honestly, the last two were actually pretty good. I did enjoy paranormal paranormal activity. Uh, Four. Oh, the marked ones. That was the last one. Was that the last one? That I liked it. You know, I actually thought this one's not too bad. And for me, whereas most people tend to like the original and the starter, you know, in movie series, I didn't really f start liking them till about the third one. Yeah, the third one was probably my favorite. And the then, first two, I thought, eh, this is okay, yeah, but... Three, yeah. four, and five are definitely my favorite as well. Definitely. What's this uh, one going to be about? Um, I watched a trailer. Um, it's, about, it's a new group of... Uh, a uh, new group of characters. Uh, somehow they, he's like a filmmaker of some kind. He 
basically gets in possession of uh, some of the original tapes from the first couple movies and he's trying to figure out what the heck's going on and um, somehow his own daughters they kind of uh, get cursed and get possessed by the same demonic presence um, honestly this one is not doesn't look very appealing to me. It's got a lot of, from what I saw in the trailer, it's got a lot of cheap, like, crappy CGI effects and stuff like that. And that's what's cool about the paranormal activities is they don't use CGI. They, they you, don't, you don't see the ghost most of the time, and that's what makes them scary. But this one has, I just saw, too much cheesy, crappy uh, CGI of the demons and ghosts, and I'm just like, I don't know. <laughs> well, we'll have to see when it comes out. They are getting up there... Um in their numbers. This is going to be the sixth one? Uh, this, yeah, this will be number six. So, number yeah, six. we'll see. It should be uh, in theaters October. All right. Well, mm. what's next on our little list here? Uh, there's this cool one coming out. It's called uh, Tales of Halloween. Um, it kind of, from what it sounds like, it almost kind of reminds me of uh, Trick or Treat. Uh, it's basically got ten... Uh, Ten stories interwoven with each other, and uh, just takes place on Halloween. There's a lot of chaos, killers, all sorts of cool stuff. That one looks like it might be pretty fun. I haven't heard of this, but I've always been a fan of those movies that intertwines um, certain stories together, and just movies that put a bunch of uh, short stories into one, kind of like you know the creep shows, stuff like that. So. I'll have to check it out. I'll have to look it up online. I've never even heard of this one, so it's yeah. definitely news to me. Oh, so yeah, speaking of uh, Trick or Treat, uh, they got this new movie coming out in December. It's called Krampus. The um, reason I bring up Trick or Treat is uh, Krampus is uh, directed by Michael Daughtry, who, of course, uh, made Trick or Treat. Wow, is this going to be like his take on the holiday type stuff? Exactly. From what it sounds like, it's going to be a lot like uh, Trick or Treat. There's uh, there's this demon who uh, in wreaks havoc and punishes people who don't believe in Christmas. Wow. Well. So, yeah, that should be a fun one. It sounds like a direct uh, uh, copy of Trick or Treat, just in yeah. Christmas time. So maybe, this... who knows? Maybe this. Uh, Deem Christmas demon is really Sam and change forms or something. <laughs> yeah, in some different holiday. So, That'll be interesting. Um, you know, a lot of people are, are probably going to make fun of me for this, but uh, they got this new one coming out in a few weeks. It's called The Visit. It's uh, M. Night Shyamalan's uh, new horror. Oh, God. I can't, <laughs> I can't even stand his latest movies. I know you're a fan of him. I, I liked his first few movies, and then he definitely took a took a jump off the bridge, you know. And then he kind of just disappeared for a while, and now he's back with this. And I've seen the the trailer in theaters. Um, it's uh, the one shot. That's, Go ahead, sorry. The one that's on TV now as well, and <laughs> the grandma's playing Yahtzee, I think, and like throws mm -hmm. the Yahtzee out. She's like got food in her mouth. She's like Yahtzee. <laughs> I'm like, oh so, man. For those that are not familiar, uh, it's basically shot like a found footage thing, and it's about these two kids. They spend a weekend at their grandparents' house, and uh, fortunately, after a certain point at night, their grandparents go crazy, and yeah, it kind of goes from there. Looks yeah. like it could be fun. Maybe, who knows, maybe this is M. Night Shyamalan's return. I return from what? I don't like any of his movies. What? I can't think of any of them uh, that I've really enjoyed, but... Um, <laughs> hang on, he did uh, Unbreakable, didn't he? Yep. I enjoyed that one, okay, I'll give him, my, I'll give him that. My two favorites uh, of M. Night Shyamalan are definitely Signs, and I really like The Village as well. Everybody hates cool. it, but that movie is killer. Well, at least so. it wasn't The Happening, okay? Oh, uh, that one's fun to you. <laughs> no, no. Um, uh, let's see what we got here. Oh, I found this one today, uh, it's called Before I Wake. Uh, it's got Thomas Jane in it. He's uh, he plays uh, the guy from The Mist, the main character, and it's basically like a supernatural, psychological type movie. They adopt this kid from an orphanage, and he has like special powers, like all his dreams. Every night when he dreams, everything he dreams about comes to life in the house. There's a lot of ghosts, a lot of crazy stuff. It looks a lot of fun if you like supernatural, psychological type movies. I'll have to look into that one too. I haven't actually heard of it, so. Oh, you're fired. <laughs> <laughs>
Oh, there's this really cool one I saw today. It's called Lost After Dark. Uh, it's a throwback to 80s uh, slasher films. Uh, kind of a return to the 80s slasher era. Yeah. A uh, bunch of high school kids, they get lost and stay at an abandoned house overnight and it turns out to be a house of some cannibals and just a bunch of crazy slasher chaos going on. It looks hilarious and uh, yeah, um, it's pretty, pretty fun. Right on. Supposedly there's a Cabin Fever reboot coming out this year, but uh, I who knows I if it'll... I haven't heard any news on that, so... It's scheduled for this year, but I don't think it'll happen, so... i have to look it up, see if it's even in production. Yeah, who knows. Yeah, a lot uh, of these think, horror movies, uh, you know, it seems like horror movies take forever to get made, and I don't follow, you know, a lot of other series like I do with horror, but... Um, you know, you get rumors, and then rumors spread into post-product or pre-production, then production, then post-production. It's like you know when Trick or Treat was supposed to come out. I mean, how long did we have to wait for that movie? You know, mm -hmm. it just was forever. It yeah. just went. Mm. You got movies like Freddy vs. Jason, which was in production for like over ten years. And well, the big thing with that, I think, was the two companies. Had to work out some agreements. And well, no, so um, New Line Cinema always owned Freddy, you know. They didn't own Jason. Paramount did. So they, um, I believe, either New Line and Paramount uh, merged or they just bought the rights to uh, the Friday the 13th series. And that's when the whole thing came together. Finally came so. to form. Okay. Uh, I think that's about all I had. Oh, I found one more. Um, it's called The Pack. Um, his family's trapped in their farmhouse and uh, they're getting hunted by uh, a vicious uh, wolf wolf pack. Seems like it might be kind of like, what the hell? But at the trailer, it made it look absolutely terrifying. Um, I'm not quite sure if they're wolves per se or like actual werewolves, but definitely some kind of gnarly angry creatures of some kind and it looked really cool so right on well any uh, any others you want to add anything you know you covered quite a bit so let's just give that to these guys and let them look these films up um, yeah if you have any others uh, that you've noticed that we didn't mention just feel free to comment on us and tell us about any cool movies that we might have missed we'd be glad to hear it yeah, definitely check us out on Facebook, like and subscribe on YouTube. We also are on Instagram now, and we have a Twitter page. So, you know, feel free to ask us any questions you have, make your comments known with your opinions. Um, you know, this is Umsucka Community, so let's make it that way. I'm Marcus. And I'm Craig. We're the Horror Junkies of Utah. You guys have a great night. Thanks.